The Indian Space Research Organisation's Pragyan rover was successfully deployed on the moon on Thursday after the successful soft landing of the Chandrayaan-3 mission on the moon's south pole. The space venture had been extended ground support by the US space agency NASA as well as the European Space Agency. As part of international cooperation, ISRO collaborates with space agencies such as the National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA and the European Space Agency ESA. They have multiple tracking stations worldwide such as the South Point Satellite Station in Hawaii, Goldstone in California, Cora in French Guiana, Madrid in Spain, Gunhilly in the UK and Canberra in Australia. These stations continuously track Chandrayaan-3 from various angles, ensuring it remains visible and can be safely guided towards the moon. ESA's 15 meters antenna in Cora, French Guiana, was used to track Chandrayaan-3 during the days after launch. As the spacecraft receded from Earth, ESA coordinated tracking support from the antenna operated by Gunhilly Earth Station in the UK. Gunhilly supported Chandrayaan-3's propulsion and lander modules. Gunhilly will support the lander during the entire phase of lunar surface operations, helping to ensure that science data acquired by the rover arrives safely with ISRO in India. NASA's Deep Space Network also played a crucial role in supporting the powered descent journey of Chandrayaan-3. It has been providing tracking coverage and telemetry assistance. This vital task is executed by Deep Space Station's DSS-36 and DSS-34, located at the Canberra Deep Space Communications Complex, in addition to DSS-65, which operates at the Madrid Deep Space Communications Complex. These stations collectively ensure the seamless monitoring and communication necessary for the descent phase. The European stations, along with NASA's Deep Space Network had been supporting ISRO's own stations to ensure the spacecraft's operators never lose sight of the Chandrayaan-3 mission.